Hello and welcome to another sleep well. Um, and this is kinda kinda annoying for me to be honest because um, it's the third time I'm recording this too. It's 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 crazy. My D drive basically died, and yeah, as you know, when the D drive dies, uh, that means that I could not record properly. I mean, it's recorded, but it's not recorded properly. So um, yeah, what is new? Uh, new is that we have now this lava source here, uh, which is basically the only good thing that happened to us in the last few episodes, because because we now have basically an infinite uh, source of lava. Just need to make more lava buckets. And um, yeah, it took me a whole episode, so this was the one thing. Uh, then we were, of course, harvesting a lot in the last episode because, you know, um, I wanted to show a few things. I made a, f a walk through here because otherwise we would have to go all up here and through this and like, it was like to save a few seconds, <laughs> I think uh, one could say. And then, of course, I've been in this cave and in other caves to uh, gain more resources because, first of all, this diamond pickaxe is about to die. And this was also um, one thing I was doing was to put it in this hand and with the other one uh, go on like coal mining and everything. Um, so we could just, uh, yeah, to heal the, or to use mending with the experience points. So here we are with this one. Here is like what's the deep slate level, and there is there is something I would appreciate because I should go more for for redstone because redstone is. The thing is, coal is not always... Oh, there's water. There's this guy. And this guy is not good. Oh, and one of these guys. So much, so much space, okay. I didn't know that this is so big. And of course there's like 50 of them coming right now. Um, I don't have much, I don't have many torches. This is a little bit annoying. Oh, one, is from, one comes from behind. So let's narrow it down a little bit. Because if I can put one into the lava, They can just die in there, I don't care. Uh, experience points are not this important from the mobs as they are from, uh, for example, this nice looking redstone. And yeah, this is a sleep well, so I wanted it to be more relaxing. The last episode was more relaxing than this one. But of course now, when, as we are in the cave, basically every Every mob available is attacking us now. So, and there's another one because one is never too, one is never enough. Yeah, this is how you can heal the um, this pickaxe a little bit. And the thing is, I also could go just... I was explaining this ex uh, in the last episode, which obviously is trapped on my D drive, which is broken. Um, that you can basically uh, also go fishing with this. But yeah, fishing would be a little bit very annoying and 
boring because you just stand there and basically you're fishing so um, I want to have some action as well and I guess you as the viewer as well you can you, you'll appreciate it so problem is I need wait how far how how far up is this going I don't see anything oh that was not so smart okay there's a bat the bat just burned burned in the lava I just need some wood I need sticks we need sticks okay maybe we have to go back then because without sticks I can't I cannot see anything it's too dark it's too dark in here hmm it's the wrong one it's the wrong one this is the right one This is why I love Minecraft. It's like you can basically swim up a waterfall. <laughs> okay, we did it. I know it would be way easier to, to just stand here and fish, but you know, as I said before, I want some action. I, we really need the movement in this game in this event where it's like there's the redstone there's wait we have a fishing rod but the problem is it's about to break and there's no mending on it so i need to combine it with another fishing rod basically to heal it first or to repair it first um, there's like some some of these a little bit better as, uh, as it was before but it takes always like so long uh, for this to heal or to get repaired I, I, I don't know because I want to say heal because it's basically doing it out of itself so I don't know maybe maybe I'm wrong okay let's make a stack of torches this is why we need this we don't need uh, coal for for as a source for heating or or eating or smelting or whatever it's just there for torches now because we have basically an, an infinite lava source now here and uh, I was thinking to combine this entrance with this here so to make this to close this fully here to this and then make the entrance here but maybe this is a bad idea i don't know and then you know only one one moment uh, of of inattention and then you are basically you have basically uh, all, all your all your animal farm uh, animal farm animals uh, in this building and you don't want to have them in there Okay, wait, the sun is setting right now, so I could go and basically just stay at home for a second and eat the bread. And, ah, yeah, we have a diamond sword. Okay, so I thought of it already. And you can watch the sunset go down with this nice looking, uh, with this nice sounding background music. And I think it's, it's ki it kind of fits it. Especially when you are at, uh, at the beach, it gives this background music gives it like <laughs> some kind of lounge vibe, summer lounge vibe, with some kind of deep house in the background. And yeah, it was so annoying. I. First of all, my, my D drive was completely fine like two weeks ago and just of the, in the beginning of this week it started like acting up somehow with, with 
with exceptions and I was like, oh no, this cannot be. This laptop is basically this laptop is basically um, new, like only four years old. But yeah, maybe the HDD is not this young anymore. I don't know. I'm only a little bit uh, angry about it because you know, obviously when you when you did it like that four times on uh, this day, I mean it was not four times this day it was three times this day and only one whoa there's a creeper okay got him i mean we don't really need the not now for sure but later we will need the uh, gunpowder yeah why i'm uh, why i'm so angry right now is because i am too exhausted now to do it um, and I had the energy before and now when you're exhausted you have to redo it again and again and again when this does not work out now then I don't know what I will do I'll just throw this laptop out of the window by the way I cannot recommend uh, a laptop as a recording source I mean it's nice for some time but uh, a real PC is uh, the real deal in this case a desktop one, I mean, of course, with a real PC. And, and why I'm so angry as well is because I had ideas before. I had ideas before to, uh, yeah, to do stuff. For example, this building and uh, other stuff we were looking for. Okay, I take this horse with me to show you a nice spot because on my way to to find some coal because we were healing basically this pickaxe um, I was just on my way to find a nice coal mine or at least something where we could just where we could just get some coal with a little bit of experience po uh, experience points and uh, yeah, this is the world spawn here. You already know this. But I found here very close to this world spawn this nice little spot. And I mean with this nice little spot, I mean this peninsula over there. Because uh, look at this. It's like, it's like surrounded by water everywhere. From every side except for this one here. So basically I could build a little castle in here like I don't know and it, it looks really cool because you're basically surrounded by water the world spawn is very close so we could replace this uh, cobblestone uh, pile with something else and uh, even if we die then uh, we spawn here and we will see our castle like immediately or bigger house whatever ah there is some coal okay um, oh, this is convenient. No, 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 you don't go anywhere. I li I know this horse loves again. This is this kind of strange horse. I think the fast horses are like this. They love to, you know, walk around everywhere. Okay, wait, what is here? This is like, is it dangerous? I guess it is dangerous here now. So, what is this? Ah, is he more coal? A little bit. Oh, this is huge. Not gonna lie, this is good. We basically can find some some stuff here. I hope you could not hear my stupid neighbor with a stupid Harley Davidson. It's way too loud. experience points are going to this pickaxe now and we also get the luxurious 
coal, the precious coal as well. So this is quite okay. And here's even more nice. You just have to make sure to put torches everywhere so nothing can basically... I mean, of course, always, sometimes uh, mobs can always ap appear somewhere. But even when you have light, when you have light everywhere, then basically it's easier to um, to see them. And you don't have to rely on hearing them so much, which is kind of good. And as you can see, coal does not drop experience points. Experience points always. So this is why redstone is better. But for redstone, it's of course a little bit more dangerous to go because you have to go very very deep and there will be mobs for sure here at daytime not always mobs will spawn so this is like the more safe uh, version of mining and here's even more coal just don't like the water be water here because it's a little bit a little bit annoying I now took the um, obviously my D drive is not working I don't know how I will get all the data on it uh, back I I hope I can I can do it somehow uh, but I definitely will not be able to use it again because I think it's not it's not safe anymore to use it because otherwise it will break completely and then everything is gone forever so i'll keep it now so it was kind of intense and it's kind of boring But we found another very big cave, I guess. Which is not bad. If only there was like normal... Oh. If only there was like... Ah, oh, dripstone again, okay. If only there was like a normal... Or somewhere in here not only copper I hate copper so much it's so useless I know I'm repeating myself but copper is really good for nothing except for decoration and maybe some spy glasses uh, which you really don't need when you have Optifine installed because you can you can zoom in as as you like you don't need the spy glasses at all And amethyst, I mean, uh, they could do a little bit more with the amethyst. Uh, they have this amethyst shard, and which is kind of a precious item. I don't know. But they're basically doing nothing with it. So, yeah, it's, it's useless. And here's more coal. Well, sometimes you're lucky, you see one and you find a really big vein and sometimes you find one and it's only one <laughs> it's like i don't know the game baits you sometimes in, into areas where you should not be definitely like here should not be here it's especially because the sun is setting right now uh, no i need this The only good thing about the coal is that you can use coal for ba nearly everything and this is like even if you don't have the lava you can still use the coal so it's good to have it even though it does not drop so much so much uh, experience points as redstone for example here's even here's one more and there's even more coal wait it's getting dark so i would say let's go no, we go. I go back here. Just go to bed here. 
I just make more space here so I don't glitch through this wall and fall down, for example. It happened many times. Okay, now, no. Isn't it funny that the clouds disappear more when the night comes? It's like, sometimes it's like that. You have the whole day, it's like cloudy and everything. And then, and then night, night, uh, night begins and then the, <laughs> you have a clear sky. It's like so annoying. And here is like no experience points at all. At least just a few. And I'm also doing this because I know that this popping sound is especially good for uh, this type of content where you have like, we want to relax a little bit. This is why I didn't like the zombie invasion in the beginning of this video. Uh, and yeah, you cannot imagine how how bad this is uh, talking like this how bad it is for the throat uh, so i have to and i made the bad idea i made the bad decision to i had a bad idea and made ba bad decision to basically just go with coffee instead of like chamomile tea or something but i think it's good i just i just take a little bit of water later and then heal it again <laughs> huh no only die right Nothing special. For a second, I really thought for a second that this was a mob. But there is none. Okay, there's the sun. So this is the ravine. I don't really know where the horse are here. Speaking of which... The horse is here. Okay. Yeah, you cannot leave. And I wanted <laughs> originally I wanted to go there in the first place, and then I just went into this cave. I don't know why. But now it's the good thing we have enough of we have so much dirt now that we can easily go here. This looks like a big vein here. Sometimes it's just relaxing to hear the popping sound of this mining. I mean, of course, I know that the experience dots or whatever the, uh, they are, balls, experience balls. <laughs> are a little bit annoying because this sound is like very high and it's uh, obviously not good for uh, relaxation right so even if you start to listen to this voice and then out of a sudden you have this this ringing sound next in your ear but oh, I'm not gonna lie this vein is really big this was a good decision to come here. Oh my god, it's not it's, it's never ending. How big is this? No. Okay, it stopped. Okay. I was afraid that I will not have any space left for the coal we are mining here. But I guess we have. We have now th three stacks and 70. Uh, 37. 73 would be nice because this would be more than a stack. But okay, so here is everything. Everything's fine here. Only one, one left over from this vein. And I got what I wanted. So basically we can go back. Um, and you can see it's already turning uh, green 
the shape of this of this fortune 3 mending uh, efficiency four or five I don't remember anymore um, pickaxe yeah this is a really nice spot you have here water everywhere it's hard for mobs to just come here uh, but I see that we will have to do a lot of terraforming here and especially uh, we will need the materials so I guess it would be it is recommended to build like a entrance somewhere to to this uh, lava level or at least deep slate because we can do stuff with deep slate or even another idea was to uh, another idea was even to just go to the nether and get so much blackstone that we can make a black castle basically it's like from the castle of the black knight for example uh, where's, where can I go? This horse is kind of fast, but as you can see in this forest, it's a little bit annoying to have it. But it's of course good when you are traveling like far away. So this horse is like, it's worth it. It's worth its gold. So basically, I could take some of these and make a few more um, golden carrots by making golden nuggets. Two stacks, I'd say. And then just combine everything. And then we have like 60 more. Oh, and it's like... It's a stack, okay. Then once it's stack, it's okay. Uh, get rid of the, the other carrots. Um, of course, we have to do a little bit of sorting because um, we don't want to take everything from here with us. Oh, yeah. As you see, we have no space left. So let's put it this way, this way, this way. And just fill up the the leftover. And you could go with this still. And then it's like this. 51. Okay, we have already a stack. Uh, wait, this is always 9, right? So I can leave this here. So we have a little bit of coal. Always... It's always good to have a little bit of coal with you because, as you might know, it can be very dangerous outside. So, mm, yeah, this is about to break. Where's the horse now? Because I know he he loves to... Oh, he went to the other animals. <laughs> I guess he likes it here. Uh, I don't think he likes to go out on journeys. Look how fast he is, he's just insanely fast. This is what I love about this horse. He's so, he's so fast. I was uh, I was talking about um, about the horses in this game as well, a little bit, in the last episode, because you have like... Well, it's always like the same, right? You have uh, either the very slow horse, but it can jump very high. I don't know what this is good for or you have the very fast horse but it can not jump very high so either it's slow and it can jump very high or or it's uh, or it's uh, very very fast and it cannot jump very high and there's like a very sh slow percentage of the, to find a horse that is jumping high and is very fast and everything so yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hard but this one, I took this one because first of all, as you can see, he's super fast. He can he can only jump two blocks high, so which is not very, which is not very high. But um, the other good thing is he's a very good climber. I think there's like a combined. You can combine this that he is a good climber with with the jumping. Oh wow, this is a this is a. Oh, no, 
this is a forest biome. This is just a forest biome. Not good. Forest biomes are so annoying. I don't like them. Because you basically never can leave them properly here. Okay, wait. There's a beach, I guess. Or was it just a little bit? Some sand. A beach like sand dune. <laughs> And the sun is setting. Oh, this is like amplified. This is cool. But the problem is... The sun is setting. This is kind of problematic. Uh, yeah, I put one here. Of course, I took the wrong one. Hello, can you please stay here? Where are you going? You go nothing, my friend. Nowhere, my friend. Okay, and then I can just sleep. For the night. I'm not gonna lie with the shader and the background music it's it can get very cozy especially when um, when you can use this deep voice as I can I guess I don't know but you know you can in these days even like um, even like very high voices can be very attractive because of um, good microphones amplifying the signal <coughs> Oh, that was not so good for the horse. And uh, yeah, then everything is like, I mean, this is how ASMR works, basically, right? I mean, I don't know, but I guess it is this way. More than the other one. Wh whatever the other one is. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, come with me, horsey. Okay, listen, there's... I think this is not so... No, 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 no. Come, come, come. You can do it. Because when it's too deep, he just... He just throws me off. So what is here? This looks very interesting. Hello. What is blocking me? Two, really? This is what I hate the most about being on the horse. You cannot use your weapons correctly. This is like... This biome... Wait, do we have a compass? Yes, we do have a compass. This biome is really annoying. It's a spruce wood biome. And you know, spruce wood biomes can be very large. Um, especially when there's nothing special around. Like a village or something. Then it's really getting annoying. Okay, he will... Throw me off. No, no, no. Where are you going? Here. Oh. This looks promising. Wait a second. Let's see. There's water. Okay, never mind. Come, come. Ow. Suffocating in the wall. And I think we stay close to the coastline because I think it's easier to to navigate back then. Unless the trees will lead us directly into the into the forest, which would be not so good. Here's like a bigger beach part. He's so he's so fast that he always uh, that he also runs just he runs through the bigger holes. This is cool. Hey, where where are you going? Always just no no. We are going on a little journey, and you have to follow me, little horsey. Uh, I still don't have a name for him. You should give me some ideas if you if you made it this far into the video and didn't fall asleep for because I'm. Oh, what? Wait, this is like an underwater temple. But it's above the water. It's above water level. Okay, I'm curious now. Some parts <coughs> are... Wow. Oh no, this horse will die. I hope not. Some parts here are actually very interesting. Like this. What will happen to... 
What will happen here? Do I find... Hä? Huh? Have I been here before? This looks like someone looted it. I must have been here before. This is when you realize that you haven't played this in a while. <laughs> There should be some chest too, but there is none. Hmm. No hidden chest, nothing. So basically, I guess we have been here before. Because you know, it's always when I loot. And then uh, I tend to take the chests always with me. So, okay, this is then, this is then this. Okay, I don't think that there is something interesting for us. So we just keep walking. All right, and, oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so wait, when, when there's an outpost here, this normally means that there's at least a village somewhere very close, very, very nearby this outpost because these these guys tend to tend to build their outposts close to villages. This is a big ravine. Should be careful here. So what do we see? I see a pillager. He just spawned right in front of me. Okay, listen. You have to stay here now. You have to trust me. I will come back. Just don't don't run away. <laughs> Did I say and he turned away from me? And I will Oh, there's another one. There spawned another one. So what we can do now is to just rush in very quick, see if they have something good lootable. Of course I will set everything on fire, so we can look at it from far, far. Din, 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 din. They already saw me. The funny thing is they can be very, very quick as well, but the good thing is the crossbows are kind of slow. They're not loading them properly. So the thing is, I wanted to go here and see what they have. Oh, they have a horn. I take this. A bottle of experience. And of course, do I have three slots? And of course, this chest. And I also take this here, this banner the banner with me now? No, didn't take it. Sadness. Okay, wait. Mm. <laughs> what you can do now, of course, is because they are all standing below you, you can just, <laughs> you can just uh, send them something nice. <laughs> uh, what is there? By the way, yeah, they have prisons here. So you can basically... Oh, it caught fire on its own. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> Wasn't my fault. Really not. I just have to be careful because uh, this might also... <laughs> it really catches fire so, f so, f so fast. Um, the plan was to use this here. <laughs> to help a little bit. <laughs> Ow. Just run. Uh -oh. oh no. 
Oh, oh no 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 no. There's too many. There's too many of them. But yeah, the outpost is gone. You can just outplay them. And there's the village I was talking about. There's the village I was talking about because they always, always do this. And oh yeah, a crossbow. Wait, I can I can actually get a crossbow. We can basically free these guys. And when you free them, they will basically attack. They will go and attack these guys. And I think it make it easier for them. He needs a friend. Feel free to leave this house. They basically have nothing to return to, right? This is like... They don't need it anymore. And I don't even have the... The curse on me they normally give. Normally get when you fight them. His own bow. Look at this. I know it's a little bit annoying um, with these guys. <laughs> this was once the outpost. <laughs> but it doesn't make any sounds, okay? So I don't know. Mm, what did I take here? What can we get rid of? I think the flint. Oh, they have basically every done everything with dark oak. So I think I take it. And they are still fighting the golems. I mean, guys who don't have any chance against these guys. They're pure iron. Hello, just don't hit the golem. I freed you, don't you? I hope you remember me. Uh, that I'm a friend. I love that they try to scare off people from here. So two golems have been freed. Is there another... Is there another cage with something in it? Mostly it's golems. They have pumpkins, of course, to scare off people. Um, you have to be very careful because when you want to visit a village, you have to carefully check if you have um, this curse on you. And uh, what was I saying? Where was my horse again? <laughs> So we basically destroyed everything they had, which is good because they, they are bad people. They, they raid others to survive themselves. I mean, understandable because it's a fight. Uh, but there's my horse. Oh God, my, my nose is itchy. <laughs> There's the horse, and um, the good thing is, oh no, wait, th there's a one bad thing. I don't have enough space for other stuff, so um, I will need, first of all, what I can do is 
make some space here. Uh, of course, I will need this lead. Where is it? No. And this nice little thingy here. And there's this outpost. Ah, oh, there's a, one of them is still in the water. Oh, there's more of them. They're going for the golems. Wait, do I have the curse on me? No. Because when you have the curse on you, you cannot go into the village because the village will get raided and you don't want to uh, get this curse on the village, right? Oh no, my allergy is going, it's kicking in. Kicking, kicking in hard. So most of the time in villages like this, uh, there's like super convenient Maybe in this one too. I think we stay uh, in this village for a while. Oh, so much coal. Oh no, but don't drown, don't drown, don't drown. In most villages like this, there is one thing that is called a strong row. Wait, I put this here and the horsey there. So I can always see it when I, because when I hide it behind some houses, then it's most of the, most of the time I will forget about it. What do we have here? I have been here as well, I guess. <laughs> I didn't take the chest, but it's not much in the chest. So, and as this is survival mode without anyone else in it, um, it's more likely that it was me. Yeah, me, myself, and I. I play. I, pl I plant some trees here. These guys. Oh, they also left the door open. They need some green in their lives. Do, 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 do. Here's nothing. This is the only good thing about Minecraft that you can go basically anywhere, and then it's. You don't need you don't even need like a mission or something you just go and then you make your mission you find your own objectives right this is what i wanted to say and of course you can just loot some houses this is like very very uninteresting move jessing see like sequence Uh, hello, Mr. Golem. Uh, this is not this is not stealing. This is uh, I'm cleaning, right? I'm cleaning up because look how messy this looks here. It's so messy here. I have to clean everything, all the hay bales. Yes, this is correct. I'm helping the villagers. I'm cleaning away the hay bales because this is what friends do, right? They help each other out. So um, I think this is a good idea to remove all the hay bales. That's a white horsey. Maybe I should get another horse for my horse because then he's not so alone anymore. There he is. Yeah, 
he looking good, huh? He already likes him. Hmm. What the heck is that? What was I trying to build here? A duck? I mean, it's impossible that someone was in this world because it's a survival world. It's a survival world. So there can be no other person in here. And if there was one, then this would be really, really creepy. Imagine you're in a survival single player game and then that someone was in there. Just like someone hacked into your account and was playing for a few hours and then he just left because it was boring. <laughs> this would be creepy as hell. Kinda. So we go with the we go with the flow, we get all the precious hay bales. Because hay bales means wheat and wheat means bread. So And I see the villagers made, make made one mistake because instead of going here and take a job as a farmer, they all are now leatherers. Which is a little bit not only a little bit boring, but also very useless. Um, especially when the village needs food. And look, most of them don't even have a job. <laughs> wow, they are so good. This village will not survive. I think I'll stay. No, I go to my horsey for the night. Yeah. Ah, he's so happy. His friends, or one friend at least. Yeah, you can you can stay with him. It's not. I'm not jealous. I don't have a problem with it. If you need a friend, he needs a friend too. What is over there? This thing here looks like it's man-made. What is? Uh -huh, this is seagrass. What is wrong with this horse? I think he needs some movement. He just wants to run around. First we go to first we go to sleep. Sleep sleep for the night. And yeah, I want to get rid of the slab here because we really we really don't need it. And is there something else I could I could get rid of? I think this horn is like some 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 kind of good souvenir, I don't know. I don't know why we have this. Um, but maybe I can now I can scare off the people somehow and of, oh yeah I, of course we need this free slot here for this for these things I think they are a little bit I think they are a little bit sad that they cannot stay with the horse or the horse with them I think he became friends they became friends but now I will have to go back wait only one thing one more thing. This looks like a man-made area. It's so flat here, but no, it's just a simple beach. And it's kind of laggy here, I don't know. Oh, dangerous. Okay. And the compass shows this direction, okay. So we just run around all these guys. We walk past them. Whoops. We go through the water. And then we head back home. Because of all the precious stuff we have in our inventory. We have to get rid of it. And maybe we will come back if I still can remember the, the place here. Okay, this is a ravine. This ravine ends here. Ah yeah, here's the here's this re the ruins the ruins. Wow, good pronunciation. Leave a like and subscribe by the way, because this is um, this is like very 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 nice, uh, a relaxing Minecraft episode. I call it a sleep well because hopefully people fall asleep then. 
Ah yeah, we, we said we stick to the coastline to go back home and the other way around. I also could like take a boat now and just go with the coastline by boat. Just keep an eye on the horse always. And I hope you can hear the rowing sounds and that it relaxes you a little bit more. I just have to keep an eye on the horse. Because the horses here, especially the fast ones, tend to just turn around and look in the other direction and then of course they lose the lead. And once the lead is gone, you have to go back for your horse and the lead in the water. And most of the time you have to scuba dive for your for the lead. <laughs> because the horse can swim. This is at least something that the horse can do. Which is kind of good. And we have to be careful here. But I don't think that this is like... Okay, wait. <coughs> that was not so good. I mean, he didn't... He didn't lose all his uh, health, but I don't want to do this again. <laughs> Hello, come with me. I don't want to do this again because he doesn't do, <laughs> he does not deserve the pain. He's a good horse, good, fast, and uh, loving horse. Question is, where is the house? He also does not take damage in the water, which is good. Hello, just go there. <clears throat> and yeah, my throat starts hurting because I've done this already three times today. Uh, recording this one in this deep voice, kind of. And only because my D-Drive is, is gone. Yeah, the problem is how well I get my... What was this? I thought I saw something. Um, to be honest, I don't know where I am. Now the compass shows this direction. Okay, so we stick to the... We should really stick to the coastline because I think this is the best idea. As long as we also stay in the tree crowns, or however you say this. I think nothing can happen to him in the water. Okay. But he didn't fall into the water. He fell on the grass blocks. Dang, I'm strong. I can just pull my horse with this lead like it's nothing. Like it's a baby. Yeah, I said it. This horse is a baby. Ah, and we are already home. You can see our uh, cherry blossom trees. So we go here. And here should be... A, a yeah, this is also a problem, right? You you see the trees and then you think, oh, home, and you sometimes f keep forgetting that there is like this this space, this big hole in the ground, and if you fall down there, you definitely are dead. Then uh, you and your horse, so cannot recommend to fall down. So we have some some banners now we can basically i mean i have a few here now uh, i think i i leave them here because they are my trophies so this is my my trophy banners we have some uh, nice hay bales they belong here then because it's hay bale wheat and then bread the evolution <laughs> chain is here uh, shown 
chests can be here because I guess there was chests before, but I needed to to uh, put them into this uh, heating house over there. What else do we have? Um, where can we go? What can we go rid rid of? Uh, for example, this space. Oh, there's more. There's more wheat. And I see I don't have space for the wheat. Um, I think I keep it this oh, here. Uh, the thing is that um, beetroot is not very. Um, the field does not drop a lot of beetroot. I think you get more beetroot roots, uh, seeds out of it than anything else. Where was. Wait, why do I have dirt? Oh, here, here's sand. Here is some fences, dark oak of course. Here is some dark oak. And what else would I need? This is like a bottle of enchanting. This is like precious stuff. I think precious stuff will can stay here, right? Um, this is like all metals combined here. Also, we have a crossbow. We already have one, which is already enchanted with Unbreaking 3. Uh, I think we can use this later to basically repair this. Um, I want to put mending on it and other stuff, so... But this is, uh, this is a future project. We don't look at this now. Um, I don't know what this horn is doing. What I can do with this horn. Um, but I think it's a precious item, so it stays here with the, the music discs. I don't know. And then we have basically everything we don't need. Everything we need is here, and everything we don't need is out of here. Okay, nice. So the sun is setting again. One more time. And we already have spent like an hour in this nice little uh, sleep well. So I think this is the time where we can end this episode looking at the, at the sunset over there. I hope you could enjoy it a little bit and hopefully you fell asleep, not 